Nordic Rebels Season 3, Skills for the Future. Um, when was the last time you actually checked you know, these lists telling you what kind of skills you need for the future? So you need creativity, analytical thinking, interdisciplinary knowledge, emotional intelligence, leadership skills, technology skills, skill skills, the lists, they just go on. But is it really about like ticking the boxes or establishing something long term, something more positive or something actually that changes in your body? That's what season three is going to be all about. So enjoy First the ride. Hey guys, guess what? I'm in London, yeah. Just heading to the Poetry Society to meet the guys from Nordic Rebels and talk a little bit about purpose, clarity and chaos. So stick with us because this is going to be super, super cool. And look who's there. The guys from Nordic Rebels. Hey, hi guys. What you're doing here? <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. Hi. We're still here. Stick with us. So, hi everybody. My name is Joanna. Uh, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be talking to you a little bit about parenting and how we can navigate within chaos. Uh, my background is in strategy. Uh, I've been helping people pick their ideas to enable purpose in strategies and action. My background is in creative industry and business projects. So if your mind is really confusing and your feelings are not in the right place, you're going to see chaos. But if you drop the chaos in your mind and you start to connect to the context, you're going to see things really can, are correlated. They really have a meaning to be in that way. And if you really drop chaos in your mind, you're going to see that chaos is just the expression of other people's chaos and you can actually help. So, um, how can we set perception for clarity? Well, this is a super, super important question here because uh, everyone has clarity. We just have a way of thinking that prevents us from getting clarity. And how is that? Well, Basically, we're always thinking about our own wishes, right? Our own uh, concerns. And that makes us only see whatever is inside our head. We don't see what is outside. So, basically, you see outside as a battlefield where you have to be in real good strategy to get around the things. So you get to accomplish what you want in your mind. Whereas, if you drop that focus and start to connect to the context, you're going to start to see the context needs and then you're going to be open and from openness you're going to start to be less judgmental and that's when clarity comes. So setting perception for clarity begins with connecting to the field, to the context. And how do we define purpose from there, right? Well, basically, we have to 
start with clarity. So let me just get rid of all the this and give you three steps. Okay, so the first step is your foundation. And what would be your foundation? It would be your why. So why are you doing what you're doing? So basically, we're really, really conditioned to think that we have to, to search for a why within ourselves. But actually, the why is outside. So if you want to be significant to the context, you need to understand what are the needs in the context. So the first thing is to start to connect, to be open to what, what are the needs in the context. From that perspective, you're going to see your why naturally. Something is going to call you. So within the context, in the context, and for the context, you see what potentials you could bring to the context to solve the need that you're identifying. And then you go to your next step, which is seeing, right? So you have to see with your eyes how is the context like. So what are the conditions, what are the tools, where are the resources, time, and of course, the potentials that other people could bring as partners. And your third step is going to be your what. So what you're going to communicate, what you're going to bring to the world. So why, how, and what in this order can give you clarity. The idea is conditioned to the result, the, co the result is conditioned to the how, and the how is conditioned to the why and the context. Okay? So that's how you define your what. Why am I here? Okay, so what, what was the need of the context for me to be here at the first place? And then, what were, were the hows, what were the conditions that, that brought me here? And your next step would be the what. So, if we don't ask those same questions to find our purpose, then we're going to be on a big game of guesses. If you, if you remember, I was talking about, well, when you're really confused, you're only thinking about your uh, desires, your wishes, your concerns, and that gets you really, really confused. But when you're thinking about the context and about the needs of the context, your mind gets really clear and your heart starts to settle down. So one way to use yourself gets really wrong feelings, and another way to use yourself, which is serving others, gets you in this flow of good feelings. So, what, are, what is our purpose? What is the right way to use our purpose? I guess it's serving others, where you can really get these good feelings flowing. But, if you, if you remember, I was talking about, well, when you're really confused, you're only thinking about your uh, desires, your wishes, your concerns. If you think again, when you're only thinking about your, your own wishes, your own concerns, you really get confused. You get on this, on this feeling of fear, of being stuck. But when you get a clear mind, you, you really are speaking and walking on your heart, then you get these really good feelings. So, what would be your purpose? And, well, I came up with this framework called the Clearing Purpose Framework. And why framework? Well, because this way of thinking on clarity is something that we really have to practice. When you're thinking about the context and about the needs of the context, your mind gets really clear and your heart starts to settle down. So, what, are, what is our purpose? What is the right way to use our purpose? I guess it's serving others, where you can really get these good feelings flowing. So there's a basic structure for this framework, which is in a free download ebook. And on the ebook, you find basic questions on why, how, and what. Please subscribe to Nordic Rebels channel, and we'll see each other soon.